So they want to be a little easier this time. So it's on for the team rolling title. Rick Perry and Patrick had to take another jump in there. He kind of hesitated, thought about the throw, didn't he? Yeah, Trevor did an excellent job getting him stuck, and the steer just didn't come off real clean. But you commit in this thing, you got to give him a throw right there. You can't take that extra swing, and then he got out of whack right there is what happened. Four hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. He should have come on with it. He should have been ready to just block him and set him down there. Steer takes a little step, but Trevor did a good job. He's tight right there. Oh, uh, uh, Patrick just got out of whack is just about all you can say. He should have been thrown right now, and he didn't. He just was out of whack. That's a big, strong steer right there. That is a big, strong steer, and so a leg penalty of five seconds makes them a 949. As we go to Caleb Driggers and Travis Graves, a, another new combo this year, <laughs> one that could be awesome. Yeah, this is uh, Caleb's setup. Steers are strong and run, and he can really reach. It's, it's not a problem for him, and TG can set them all down. He's a catcher. So the champion last year with Patrick Smith, Caleb Driggers, who won the 100,000 last year, set to go as a second team here in the shootout round. He'll go back to making sure that uh, Caleb can get a really good start, and if he does, then that sets his whole run up, and uh, reaching's not a problem. And we also want to mention he uh, he brought a lot of money in that auction, that sponsor auction, too. He's had a really good week without even running this year. That's <laughs> true. He can cash in right here. He, he won San Antonio last night to come up here. And, oh, so he got $50,000 in the auction. He didn't get all of that. But some of it had to go to uh, the charity. 15% of it went to charity. Yep. So um, he's this kid right he's, here. He's, he's had a fifty thousand dollar week already. Not counting what he can win here. He's kissing at the camera right there already. That's how confident he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's ready to stick it on. Sure, right he wasn't there. smooching to his horse. Or? Well, he might have been. Yeah. Okay. He's this boy's confident right here now. <laughs> and uh, and like I said, you know, what? everyone watching. Why is he healing this year though? Well, you know, I always said it's one thing if, if he's bored a little bit, you know, who knows what it is right there, but he'll be back heading. Joe, you got the inside on that? Man, this, this steer's fault to shoot, and he beat Caleb out. Yeah, Caleb's yeah. got so much range, though, he went and got him. They're fast. You know, a lesser header right there, Bobby, doesn't get that steer because that steer laid down and fought to shoot forever. So a header's going to think, you know, he's not going to leave as hard, and he split the gates running, but Caleb Digger's been what, what the header he is. He just reached and got him. Yeah, when he didn't get the clean go like he did, and that steer squalor kind of squeaked out through there. When he reaches, he just is comfortable. It's not a problem when he throws right here. No, it's easy for him. He's not going to open the dummy because that steer really already had the advantage. He beat him out into the left. I want everyone to take a look at Travis Graves right here. This is a perfect example of being a professional healer. That's a high percentage <laughs> throw every time, and then gets a good dally, and the steer comes back to him for a good flag. Will that time hold up? Will, will he win it two years in a row for Caleb Smith? Well, here. Jake Barnes was just Barnes. too late. Late at the barrier, had to run him too far, Bobby. But Junior did all he could do. Boy, he did. Junior no gated now. He is going to fire it. Junior was chewing on his tongue before that. this steer rider. He was ready to throw, you know. And, and, and Jake just missed the barrier. And, and the good thing for Junior that he's not nervous about that throw. That's, you know, like I said, that's what he grew up doing. Here's the replay. Take it through us again. Steers are strong now. They're not just loping out through there. So you got to get a good start. And, and, and just, you know, that's not an easy heel shot right there, Bobby. No. <laughs> See, that's in the switch right there. That's, that is. That's different crossfire than, than what we crossfire up here, and it truly is. But that's the way he ropes all the way down there. That's how he ropes all the time. Hey, so, easy rodeo, really, for these guys. And this is the, probably the best heel horse there is, and, uh, and it, that makes that shot easy right here. If Coleman can get a good start, they should be able this, to get this This right. is the team that grew up together. Their families rodeoed. Their fathers rodeoed together. Now, got it on him. This for first. There it is. You called it. That's a good head horse and a great heel horse. That's a great heel horse. And I'm telling you what about Coleman Proctor, everyone. He is starting to get his confidence, and you'll see hey, that start. Hey, this is going to take it to another level. You just wait oh. and see what this big horse in southeast Kansas and northeast Oklahoma do now. You're wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Uh, they're saying they, they broke the barrier. I believe they broke the barrier, guys. Oh. I'm down, yeah, I'm down here, and they're tied picking it up. Oh, let's sure listen. 
Well, we'll see right now what it's going to be. You know, I thought it was clean at first, but... No, he hits it way before the net yep. rope comes off. Uh -huh. Rope Barry, that just let Jake Barnes Jr. get paid for a good catch. Caleb all they Driggers. Did. Caleb <laughs> Driggers, back to back, is going to win the American this year with Travis Graves, Jake Barnes, Jr. Nogata wins second place and $25,000.